Hello and welcome to Clash Royale. My name is Kevin Lump and we are back with the level one. Let's play. Here we go. Electro Giant deck. First time trying him out as well as first time trying out this Electro Spirit. So the deck I came up with is not very different from the Golem deck because Electro Giant is so darn expensive. We do have our support troops in the Witch and Baby Dragon, as well as the Heavy Hitter, also for Defense Inferno Dragon. Bandit, just an all-around pretty nice card. We do have a more defensive card in the Skeleton Army, as well as the Electro Spirit to uh, help cycle the deck. Only being one Elixir, um, hopefully we can cycle back to our heavier cards as we need them. And I just couldn't wait. We're hopping right into this. Like, I, I'm, I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, a real person as well. Level eight, nice. We can test our skills, and we will start with a witch. Which side you going, buddy? Okay, you're going with an expo, you cuck lord. So we'll get the dash onto that. Oh, okay. Nice, all right, dude, that Electro Spirit worked out way better than I thought. Not a lot of damage coming through, clearly, because it's level one. But we do have it in the deck because it is a stun which will chain to different things. He does go ahead and arrow our witch, which is still alive though. So I'm gonna go really aggressive here with the, oh, oh my gosh, get wrecked. I think that was the witch, but still, Electro Giant is marching down the lane and with the Prince there, oh wow, he's even, he's zapping the tower as well as punching it. That is so cool. Prince does get distracted as well. And with the skeletons piling up, they can do some damage. Although the, the baby dragon does come down and we can go ahead and start defending our own side with our infernal dragon for his baby dragon and uh, we do have the baby dragon of our own as well as the bandit i think i'm gonna go with a bandit here and keep up this pressure really want to prevent him from playing the expo and the bandit is a huge counter to that wit uh wizard which he puts puts right in our path inferno dragon locks on the tower and is able to take it out and we're going to start up a very slow very aggressive monster mash of a push with our witch and goblin giant i am this is not the goblin giant this is the electro giant and i am not used to saying his name but here we go i can't believe he does 360 like that's so cool he seems so strong though like this is crazy i love that we've unlocked him and the prince is going to get some fat jabs in but with that boy having so much health he is going to make it to that King Tower, get a punch in, as well as a few zaps, and the support troops are piling up now. We get the bandit down just in case he plays that wizard. I thought I heard something. I guess not. My ears have indeed forsaken me. There's the wizard. A little bit late, buddy, and we are going to take this game. Good game. Well played. I don't even think that was two minutes. Uh, it was probably a little bit over two minutes. That is so crazy. We got our crowns. We got our trophies. We got some gold. And we are on our way. Let's hop back into this. I feel like we're getting gold at a pretty good rate. Um, maybe it's from the crown chest. Maybe it's from the wins as well. Um, which is nice though, because gold can for sure limit you in this game with what you can do. We're going to do the good luck. I love this musketeer. She's so excited. Ready for anything. <laughs> and of course he has that. Uh, I'm going to go witch. We'll go right, right hand side. See what he has. Trap bunny, what you got? Um, I don't want to go with a, uh, the Electro Giant just yet, so we will do a small mini push with the Bandit and the Witch and the Electro Spirit. We're going to hover Zap just in case Skeleton Army comes out. Bandit does dash to the tower, and the Wizard comes out in response. Um, this guy keeping his Wizard alive as well as having that is really obnoxious. I wonder... Uh, I wonder if I should have placed that directly on top to try to get the wizard to get out of here. That was quite a heavy elixir investment for a defense, but honestly, it was the wizard that was kind of uh, stressing me out there. And with the uh, goblin gang coming down, I'm going to place the skeleton army directly on top. Not a good play because the skeletons are being hit on the way down before they spawn in, but uh, it's enough to take that out. And he is uh, keeping up the pressure. He must be low on elixir. I'm going to go with the infernal dragon here because we can obviously burn down the baby dragon quite quickly. And then with a baby dragon in front of the infernal dragon, we're going to be in a nice spot. Electro spirit raring to go. If he plays minions or something behind... Oh, wow. Okay. Well played. I hope the Inferno Dragon can please burn that thing down. Oh my! So much value! I love it! 
Nice, Bomb does absolutely nothing. Infernal Dragon does get onto the tower as well, bringing it down to 334. We are flawless in this one. Witch is gonna have to be played on the left-hand side. She should spawn skeletons, nice. They spawned with enough reach to uh, get out in front of that prince. And for five for five, you know what? We're gonna mix it up and we're gonna go left-hand side with the Electro Giant. We do, you know, this guy is such a heavy deck. What in the world? We're gonna surround this boy. Oh my gosh, I don't even think we needed the zap over there. We're gonna get the Electro Spirit down. And it kind of helps to take out the uh, the rest of that. And the swarm around the uh, big boy Pekka, who is this, the Mega Knight. Um, he does do slash damage, so he takes out our skeleton army quite quickly. But uh, we're gonna leave that and we're gonna go for a second Electro Giant, hopefully able to get down Ah, another witch would be fantastic, but I'm gonna go with the Inferno Dragon. We're gonna go for the kill. Forget the witch. Uh, the bats are eating away at everything that I want them to leave alone. <laughs> Electro Giant does get onto the tower, and this guy is frantically playing cards to get something done. And unfortunately, we're gonna win. Uh, well, <laughs> that very unfortunate. It's unfortunate for him, but we're just gonna walk away with the one crown. I think it's been a while since we got a one crown. That baby dragon did some twerking in the air. Uh, well played, good luck. Whew. Okay, even though our chest slots are full, again, we're still working for those crown chests. And honestly, those are more important to me than a bunch of silver chests. Blech. Ooh, Baelish, look at his towers. Super icy, we have an awful starting hand. Thank you for playing something so easy for me to defend. Electro Spirit does come down. I'm gonna go ahead and zap these goblins. And uh, some skeletons come back to help, which is massive. The bomber is gonna be distracted on those skeletons. Will it get a shot under the tower? Yes, it will. A whole bunch of damage. Valkyrie at the bridge. I'm gonna go with the Inferno Dragon for her. Valkyrie, it don't don't let her, her looks deceive you. She is a tanky gal. And she gets no swings onto the tower, which is fantastic. We also have the bandit ready to go. Infernal Dragon should be able to take that out. We'll go with the Electro Spirit and with the Witch We probably didn't need that zap, but it came down anyways Infernal Dragon's gonna be almost full health locking onto that tower and that tower is our skeleton army is our best counter For the Goblin Barrel as you can see there Infernal Dragon's gonna get a little tickle onto this bomber before going down Oh wow, it takes it out and the witch is still alive and look at all these Larry's <laughs> Oh no, the witch is being targeted, but uh, you know what, those Larrys do do a good job. And honestly, we probably should have let that go. Infernal Dragon is doing nothing there. Um, definitely 100% should have started a fresh push in the back. I am going to go with a baby dragon for this baby dragon. And uh, just try to mitigate that tower damage. And yeah, we'll start slow. Just kidding, we don't have that luxury. Baby dragon is still alive to help us here though. And the zap... Does zap the hog? I, ice, ice spirit for sure zaps for way long, or freezes for way longer. But uh, the chain zap is such a cool feature. I'm gonna zap away the rest of these. Try to keep our band alive. I'd love for her to dash onto the king tower. Bomber goes down before he knows what happened. Placed way too close to our skeleton army. Bandit does get a dash, and some Larrys are on the king, the king tower. Minions come down to distract the infernal dragon, and it's enough to hold on for just one more moment. And honestly, we could let him take our left hand tower just so that we could go into overtime and ensure our three crown victory, um, which is what I'm going to do here for sure. Uh, the crowns are very important to me as well as the wins, but hey, if we can get a three crown, we might as well. Bandit's gonna get another dash onto the Valkyrie. We have the Electro Giant. I don't know if we've even played him this, this game yet. Uh, the Prince comes down. We're gonna get the Skeleton Army to help distract him and another Infernal Dragon. This guy does have minions, so I'm gonna hover the Electro Wizard Ah, uh, zap comes down. Let's get them out of here. Electro uh, spirit, I mean. Here we go for the minions. Baby dragon's there as well, and good game. That push was too massive for Baelish to answer. Well played. Good luck. All right, this deck is absolutely stomping. I'm having way more fun with this deck than the golem deck. Like, golem beatdown is fun, but uh, I feel like this deck has a lot more defensive capabilities. Look at these towers. Those are so sleek. Like, they look so nice. Um, let's see what he does. Okay. So, we're gonna go Bandit. And we're gonna zap all this. Oh, he went for the clone as well! Thank you! Um, Infernal Dragon, unfortunately, is gonna go do doo-doo cuck.
to this Electro Dragon because that stun is going to continue to reset things. Unfortunately, the Bandit doesn't get a dash onto that Firecracker, but the Baby Dragon is going to be able to take it out. Just kidding, LOL. The tower should be able to finish it up, though, and we'll start slow in the back. We're definitely up in Elixir, so we'll start with the Witch, and we'll go for the Electro Giant at the bridge, and then we'll follow up with the Bandit. Let the Witch march down the lane. We're for sure up. We also have the Zap in case he goes for the Skeleton Army or something. The Log does so much damage. You know what? We didn't need that. Um, probably should just let the Witch take care of it. And we could have gotten a Bandit down to uh, dash onto this giant Skeleton. Hopefully we can take this thing out. Unfortunately, I think the Witch is going to get caught in the Blast. Just kidding. With that Miner out, it should keep our Witch at bay. And that, that Electro Giant did a bunch of work onto that tower. The Miner is such a cool card. I cannot wait to get one. Bandit down to hopefully get the double dash onto the tower. She was two steps away, and with the Firecracker stepping backwards, whew, that could have been bad. But we do take that right-hand tower with very, very minimal damage to our right-hand tower. I'm going to go ahead and cycle this Electro Spirit. Um, that's a great reason for having those one Elixir cards. You know, it's something down. doesn't really mean much, but it gets our Witch down in the back, which is what we wanted. Log comes down. Almost missed the witch. Electro Giant is here. And with this, I am going to zap this, even though we do have the witch, just to get the stop onto that Dark Prince. And that clone coming out against our witch is absolutely useless because the witch does splash damage. And clones, if you doubt now, have like one HP actually. So uh, they go down um, if anything touches them. So the splash damage helps a lot. Witch is going to be able to clean up these skeletons. We do have the bandit there as well, and we're going to let this go for sure. We'll start up a witch in the back. That Electro Dragon basically shuts down our Inferno Dragon. And now that we're in the Electro Arena, um, we do have to face people with the Electro Dragon. And that's going to be rough for us. This Firecracker needs to go down or she's going to take out the witch. I think she missed. Uh, no, something got to it. Maybe it was the stun from the Electro Dragon. So the Electro Dragon stun actually does what the Electro Spirit stun does. It chains, I think, up to three people. So our giant is going to go down, but we're keeping up the pressure so much so that he cannot mount an offensive against our tower, and uh, we're able to walk away with the victory. Good game. Good luck. Thank you for your contribution. 3,500? What are we at for trophies? We are at... 3,500 ourselves, and we have a new unlock. We already have the purple guy, and now we are taking the zappies. The purple guy is someone, who is this? Uh, we got him last time. I did not show him off. So he is the elixir golem, and for three elixir, he is one hefty boy, and he is just dripping with elixir. He does not have as much health as it looked. But he does turn into uh, Golemites, which is pretty nifty. For three Elixir, he's pretty tanky. Oh, and then he turns into little blobs. And the blobs have quite a, minute, quite a bit amount of health. Okay. So... Three Elixir blobs. Or, level three. Okay. What is the catch? Like, what is he... Splits into two Elixir Golemites when destroyed. Then splits into two... Uh, blobs that are defeated gives the opponent one elixir when destroyed. Oh my! What, so they get four elixir for you playing that card? Ugh. I don't know how good that is, but hey, the zappies are a pretty good card. For four elixir, you get a electro wizard without having an electro wizard, <laughs> and apparently they can stagger their stuns if so placed to uh, completely nullify a royal GG. So that's pretty cool. Um, because those cards are not epic cards, I don't have a whole lot of hope for using them. Um, but yeah, Iron Pizza! Good luck! We have our Witch in hand, which is what you love to see. He does have a Furnace. He's going to play it directly in front of his tower. Unfortunately, every single time, a Fire Spirit is going to make it to the tower if we leave it unanswered. He does have a Witch of his own as well. I'd like to get my Baby Dragon down. A little bit of a lag spike. Oh god, he has that chick! Uh-oh. So uh, that chick is super annoying. That zap was absolutely fantastic. But uh, so this this witch, this witch behind him, behind her witch, I think when it kills things, it turns them into those hogs that you're seeing. Wow, well played. That's 
Our tower, for sure. Oh, man. Okay, so playing the witch... Uh, this is GG's. There's nothing we can do against this. We can't play the skeleton army into it. Um, holy crap, we just got annihilated. That card! What is that card? What is it called? It's some kind of witch. Who is that? I don't have her yet, obviously. This person. The mother witch. So when she destroys cards, it turns into those little pigs. And they go straight for towers. So putting her in to face my witch, of course, four skeletons is going to turn into four pigs. So that was really rough. And he just had a ton of swarm. Honestly, we were not equipped for that at all. Um, if we can't get to the mother witch, she's just going to do a lot of stuff. And she's a perfect counter for our witch. But um, moving on. Let's start. Yeah, witch in the back. So he's a bandit, dude. So cool. I wonder if the Electro Giant will take out the Balloon. Wow, good thing we defended that. I almost let that go, but in level 9 Goblin Barrel, that's rough. Hopefully, we should be able to take out this Balloon? Maybe not. Maybe not! <sighs> Phew! Okay, death damage is going to do nothing to us. He also arrowed, which is kind of nice. We can get our bandit down. She is going to connect a tower. Baby dragon might go down to our witch. Our witch is luckily unprote uh, super protected. I'm going to zap just to keep her alive. I don't know if that was a good play. I think it... No, yeah, definitely wasted two elixir. Um, but that's okay. We'll get a witch down as well. And we'll hopefully stop the bandit dash. Yes. Okay, so skeleton army also would have been a really good thing there. Um, but now we can go for like a mini push here with the baby dragon and the witch. We have the electro spirit. If he tries to place anything behind, at least we can stun it for a second. Give our team a chance to get them. Arrows come down and with the electro spirit, we're able to take out those goblins. Enough so that our tower can deal with them. We got some damage out of the tower. We're in a pretty good spot. Um, obviously our tower is at 1100, his is at 1200. <laughs> so that uh, disadvantage is for sure against us there. Oh god, he went opposite lane. But we do have the Inferno Dragon for the balloon. If the balloon is alone, we know we can stop it. He probably has a zap. He doesn't have a zap. Or he doesn't have enough for it. So hey, we have our Electro Giant in the opposite lane. And now we can try to helpfully defend him. Zap comes down from us. And good luck, buddy, because this boy is going to hit your tower hard. And the zap is going to hit all of those goblins. Oh, that's so incredible. Yo, he's so strong. I love it. Anything in that area is going to go down. And the Inferno Dragon, unanswered on the left-hand side, is going to take tower as well. And now we can hopefully, probably, maybe go for this three crown, the witch, and the baby dragon for this balloon. We do have the skeleton army for the bandit. And will also help distract the baby dragon just a little bit. Balloon, I don't know if it made it to the tower or not, but hey, we can go for... He has to go for a tower here. He actually has to go for two. So while he's doing that, we're going to go for three. The witch is still alive behind our Electro Giant. And our King Tower took a lot of hits there. But it's not going to matter if we can get the three crown on our own. The bandit did make it to the tower as well. His bandit is almost done so. And for the meantime, we just need to defend. 100% we'll get a witch down. The balloon's not going to have enough time, right? Not enough time. No way. No way. No way. No way. This is bad. Oh no. Oh no. Defend. Bandit for bandit, baby. Uh oh. She gets a dash onto the tower. This could be it. Good game comes out. Can we defend? I don't know. He's going to go in our pocket. No. Get away from me. Stay away. He has arrows. We lose this. No. Good game. Oh, I thought the barrel was going to the back. I should have commit more to the uh, the offense there. Uh, I should have just done it. I don't know. The hesitation got us. Oh, man. But we do get the crown chest. And like I said, this deck is a lot of fun, even if we take a loss here and there. Any new cards? No. That is okay, because next time... We're going to be trying a little bit something different again. Let me know if you guys like this deck in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the Electro Giant. Is he giving you problems on ladder against your people? Or uh, do you use him? Do you like him? I think he's a pretty cool card. I think he might be a little strong, though. I don't really... It's hard to say because maybe people just aren't used to uh, playing against him. But hey, 
that is going to do it for this. Make sure to click the link in the description to join the Discord. You can do it on your phone or on the computer. And again, until next time, God bless and stay hydrated. <laughs>